who started with 11 plus being all of the same age as the rest of you. But um, we, we moved on to uh, different sorts of um, measures. And some of them came out of thinking about examples like ballet exams, the, the, the physical vivas, um, practical tests. And through um, Jane's experience of living in a musical family, too, the whole idea about performance as an art. And if, could we hold on to something about performance in this discussion that didn't get traduced in some way? And many of us, I should end up I, felt that I could manage almost any performance framework as long as I knew it, because I'd find a way to sabotage it. <laughs> it just had to be knowable rather than arbitrary for my, for my purposes. But the reason that was the case is because I, as a performer, had several audiences. I wasn't always looking to the authority figures. So I, you know, I had parents who thought differently. I have friends who think, I have a work group that thinks differently. So performance and audience seemed um, one way of thinking about that. We talked quite a lot about measurement as sorting and that maybe where there's a zero-sum game and a shortage of um, external resources there'll always be winners and losers, and we should expect that. But that actually that was what often felt awful about performance, because there wasn't a shortage of anything, except if you categorised it in that way. And that actually sorting, like whether you had curly hair in South Africa or not, the pencil test, would it stay in or not? Um, or which knives and forks do you use? Are you the right social class in this country? That sorting was an artificial sorting about ranking, and that often felt terrible. Um, that there were lots of discomforts about performance measurement because they seemed so often to be unidimensional, um, whereas you, didn't, you don't personally feel like that. So it, even if it's a legitimate measure, it's not what counts in some ways. And we talked about whether that was partly this sorting thing as right and wrong, whereas actually you might want um, sorting to illuminate diversity rather than to cut out the things that were wrong. Um, so sorting in itself wasn't so bad. And sorting was different whether you're inside or outside. Martin gave the example of, as an outsider, you didn't give a damn whether you were a mod or a rocker. It wasn't important. It was just descriptive. But if you were a mod, it was really important to know who was a rocker. And so that in, that where the perspective comes from is quite important. Lots about power, and that mostly these things are done to us, power over us rather than feedback or dialogue as the help to, the power to do something. Um, so we, we were talking about that. And lots of things around re taking responsibility. Um, do the usual measures dissipate uh, responsibility or do co-produced measures actually grow appropriate responsibility? I think, sorry, there was just one last thing, and that was this notion of better and betterness and what betterness is. Um, and we all had examples of, of things um, in, in the um, notion of improving. And, um, you know, a, a bad appraisal was around asking you to become better or um, something around an organisation to improve would be an improve or better, but there was nothing known around what that abstract notion was um, of betterness. So I just wanted to raise that thing that's, that... that haunts all of the performance measurement is this notion of it's, is it always about better and what is better um, and I, w I would add is and how would you know it was better against what for whom because it's this thing about better <laughs>